diamond painting kit from Diamond Art Club. Today we are going to look at Ocean Dolphin by Barrett Biggers. It is a square measuring 70 by 93 centimeters or 26.6 by 36.6 inches if you don't go by the metric system. Anyways, let's take a look at this. So Diamond Art Club canvases will come in this plastic protective sleeve. And we will also get a little baby sticker that you can use for your logbook. We get a fun toolkit, and with these new toolkits, they're, they are fun because you just never know what you're gonna get in terms of like the cover minder or the washi tape. So I, I really like, or even the color of the diamond painting pen. So what we have here is a dark pink um, diamond painting pen. I have my tweezers without a protective cover but so be careful with these these are super sharp very high quality tweezers these are pink ombre branded tweezers that you can use for your square kits okay put that back here i have a cover a, oh sorry i'm rushing i got two plates of heart-shaped pink wax that comes in this really cute wax when is it when they call it hold on <laughs> sorry heart-shaped wax container okay so that's what it is really handy if you want to keep like hair or dust off your wax in between your diamond painting sessions i have a translucent tray that's a little sparkly too, along with a tray stopper that you just kind of put at the end here. And it keeps all your trays or all your drills in place. So that's always useful. I have a handful of wet bags, pink squishy, two skinny multi-placers. These are my favorite multi-placers. So this is a four and a seven placer. I got a real pretty butterfly cover minder. So a cover minder is basically a two-piece magnet that you use to hold back your plastic cover while you're diamond painting. And then I got this really pretty gold washi tape that you can use to kind of tape off your edges or section off your diamond painting. I do use that, I do do that. So this washi tape's gonna be very handy. So like I said, Diamond Art Club canvases come in this protective plastic sleeve. Your drills are going to be rolled inside your canvas. And their canvases are self-flattening, but for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and roll this back so that we can get a good look at this canvas. It is also a poured blue canvas, meaning you don't have to worry about like doing anything that will separate your glue from your canvas. It's a nice big picture here. There you go. We also get a brochure with step-by-step -step instructions on how to diamond paint as well as tips and tricks. And then here is a large inventory sticker sheet with all the information you need, the um, artist name, the painting name, dimensions, and then it looks like we are working with 49 colors and one, two, three, four, five, six ABs. Wow. So there you go. Here's a look at this picture. Let's look at the drills here. There is a lot of white just because of that border. So this is what you're seeing here. It's a side view, lots of nice blues and very calming color palette, don't you think? I really like that. I'm trying to see if I can spot the ABs for you. So what AB stands for is Aurora Borealis and 
what that means is that they put an iridescent coating on the drills to kind of help accent the color a little bit more. Now, okay, so here it is. Can you see that here? Where the white kind of pops out a little bit and catches your eye? That's that iridescent coating on the ABs. So a little goes a long way. They can be a little tricky to work with, but the effect is just well worth it. So here's another one. You can kind of see it in here, how it kind of caught the eye a little bit. So that's the effect of ABs for you. So here it is. Oh, and also the drills come labeled, which makes it useful. If you store your drills away from your canvas like I do. And the reason why I do that is just for the sake of space. I have a lot of canvases. Um, yeah. And so it just makes it easier for me to separate the two and store them separately. So anyways, Diamond Art Club canvases have a key on opposite sides of the canvas as well as a thumbnail on the lower left hand side giving you the painting name artist name and dimensions. A look at this drill field. So not too heavy on the confetti, maybe a little bit in the coral. Um, yeah, I don't think it'll be very hard to work with. Don't be scared off by the fact that they're square. You know, squares are, you know, when I first started diamond painting, I didn't know the difference. I didn't know there was a difference between squares and rounds. So my first paintings were squares. And the only thing I've noticed is that the rounds go so much faster. But the squares are fine too. They're not horrible to work with. So don't be scared off by that. If you haven't tried a square yet, try a square. You're gonna, you're not, you're not gonna freak out as much as you thought you would. So just go ahead and try it. Okay, so the picture, I really like this. I like the whole, I've always been fascinated with the whole deep sea, what could be underneath sort of thing. So I just, this picture just really stood out to me. So I felt like I had to get it. You have a giant whale here. I don't even know what kind of whale, gray whale, blue whale. No idea, but I don't know. Humpback, who knows? But just fun, really pretty. You have all like this nice calming blue palette, which I like. But there you go. That's enough about why I got this painting. Just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So Ocean Dolphin by Barrett Biggers from Diamond Art Club. Thanks for checking in, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.